Thanks for sitting down with me again. I'm, I'm just glad I made the cut for the second meeting. Uh, looks like there might be a place for your leadership uh, issue after all, huh? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so last time we got together, you were telling me about your rookie season. It was my freshman season. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It's okay. But you mentioned that by your sophomore season, you began to grow into more of a team leader. I began to, yeah. Um, but it took a minute. I can't even lie. It did. How? How so? Well, uh, okay, take the first game, for instance. All right, let's start the season off right, yeah, Captain. Yeah, let's go. All right, sorry, I'm, I'm used to Junior doing these, man. I got you, but Junior's playing pro ball, which kind of makes it impossible for him to do the pregame right. speech. That's why we named you Captain, right, remember? Right. All, right, all, right. all right, come on, MP, all take right. us out there, all man. All right, all right. Yo, yo, who, what Junior used to say? Who go, uh, who going? I can't hear you. Okay, you gotta, uh, oh, you gotta, yeah. you gotta give him a chance to respond. But hey, yo, keep going, keep going. All right, all right, yeah, all right. keep going. <coughs> who else is this? Who house is this? Go <laughs> ahead. It's their house. We're away, bro. But last year, Junior. Forget it. Never mind, man. I got this. Um, what you should say? Who gonna who go, who go hold it down tonight? Oh, man, you already said that one. Oh, okay, my bad, man. My bad. Hey, look, that's great work. Hey, Captain doing great work, work in progress. All right, let's, come on, y'all. Let's, let's go out there. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! I know I'm ready to go get it. Shouldn't you be somewhere <laughs> handing out stat sheets or something? I wanted to come wish my boo good luck. And encourage him to maybe sign up for some public speaking classes. Oh, come on. It was not that bad. Um. <laughs> okay, it was that bad. Yeah. I mean, Junior gave that same speech last year and had the guys bouncing off the walls. Like, how am I supposed to follow in his footsteps? You better figure it out. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I'm dating you is because I wanted to date Junior, but you seemed more attainable. Oh, you think that's funny? Yeah. That's not funny. That's a little bit funny. <laughs> hey, look, just stop trying to be Junior, okay? They chose you as their captain. Yeah. You. You're right. You're absolutely right. This is your team. This so is just my team. lead it how you want. You're right. You got this. You got it. Meantime, you might want to tighten up your footwork. You're getting lazy with your topside foot and letting Am a man I? Die, drive with his dominant hand. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Popovich. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> no problem. Now, who's going to go get it? You serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> I said, who's going to go get it? I'm going to go get it. That's my man. Nothing quite like the first game of the year. Hello, everyone, with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We're kicking off this season of College Hoops. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the North Carolina Tar Heels going up against the Florida Gators. And one name to watch this season. I could see MP stepping up into a bigger role. It has all the makings to be a leader for this team. And MP with the block. And so it looks like the Gators will retain possession here. And it's the Gators with the ball. Diaz outside. Back to Palmer. Bayless outside. Pass to Diaz. Palmer on the wing. Lawson, five to shoot. And that comes off the assist by Palmer. And as you said, MP could see a bigger role with the school this year. You know, MP showed some flashes last season. Now as a starter, I think it's his team if he wants it to be. I think he's got to establish himself early on for that to be the case. MP with a bucket. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. 
And you know, with Junior moving on after last season, I tell you, this team has a very different look. And what a huge opportunity for some players. Leaders will step up and establish themselves. A transition year for this team, but a lot to be excited for. Now here's Palmer. Diaz outside. Lawson fades away. And it's MP with the rebound. And slam dunk by MP. And here is Palmer. Pass to Bayless. The three ball. It's rebounded by Red Thompson. MP outside. That doesn't go either for MP. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Mercer. And it's off from three-point range. Fast break. Here they come. It's MP on the wing. Defended by Palmer. Here's MP. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And, guys, Coach said a main focus for this school was to start the year out strong. They have a tough schedule later on in the year. It's important for them to build a good tourney resume early on in the season. Here's Palmer. Bayless outside. Back to Palmer. Diaz. Up top, Bayless. Back to Diaz. Palmer for three. Tar Heels with the rebound. MP left side. And MP slams it in. Now Palmer. It's a six-point game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the Gators call time here. Bradford Blunt, substitution for North Carolina. Pass to Snow. Mercer with the ball. And that's out of bounds. Florida will retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. And one goal that this school has this season, they still believe they can get into the tournament. It won't be easy. They aren't as loaded as they once were. But, you know, get enough wins, and the selection committee has no choice but to put you in. They can't ignore you if you win enough. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. I tell you, there's no substitute for consistency, Greg. You know that. I know it. Uh, you can stay in control of the game. They'll stay in control of it if they simply stay good with their execution of the game plan and don't waste any possession. Now here's Bayless looking for his first basket still in this one. Looking to end the run. Mercer can't hit. North Carolina leading. Unloads from 13 feet, and North Carolina again with the bucket. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. Well, you know, right from the tip, there's not anything they haven't done well so far. Bayless. Here's Snow. Unloads from 13 feet. The Gators with another miss. It's MP on the wing. He's guarded by Blunt. MP outside. Again, the Tar Heels score. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution 
so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now a timeout called by Florida. Now here's Blunt. Pass to Snow. From 10 feet out, that one wide left. Always exciting to get on the floor for the first game of the year. The speculation of what the season holds is exhilarating. And there's another one for the Tar Heels. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Literally every shot, partner. I mean, they just aren't missing. Mercer with the ball. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Bayless. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. There's high hopes around this team this year. They're hoping to make a big run, you guys. And I think they're poised to do so, quite honestly, not only in their conference, but in the national tournament. There is a ton of buzz surrounding this team. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. And they're doing it at both ends of the floor. I mean, that's what you like to see. They've been controlling the action from both ends of the court. Now here's Bayless. Expanding his range. Kept alive. Goes back up. Here's Snow. Sinks it after the KG pump fake. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. They double team MP. To the wing on the left side. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. How about the run the Gators went on from 2011 to 2014? They were one of the last eight teams each of those three seasons. Now here's Blunt. Back to Bayless. Pass to Fisher. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming up. You guys, it's tough to think about the history of Gators basketball without thinking about that historic run. Insane. I mean, they went 18-0 in conference play in the 2013-14 season, cruising their way to a title down in the south. Expectations are high for this UNC team after a tough season last year. The fans are hungry for a fresh start here after dealing with injuries and frustration. It's a lot of pressure, but these guys can handle it. And guys, you used to think Florida and think football. This basketball program has really changed that. No question. Some would even argue that now. It's a basketball school. When looking at recent success, it's been more on the hardwood than it has on the gridiron. Another shot, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and he'll shoot two. Third team foul. Shooting for Florida, Willie Bautista. Taking two shots. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Thompson. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. They double-team MP. Pass to Mayo. Here's Wong. MP defended by Palmer. A nice shot by MP. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Here's Blunt. Bautista, along with the rebound. MP right side. Long, no good. This Gator squad struggling. To the inside. And MP with the block. But they recover it. Pass to Mayo. There's the triple. Rebound by the Gators. Outside Palmer. Now here's Blunt. On 
the wing. Lawson. Back to Blunt. Diaz up top. Bautista on the shot clock. Palmer can't hit. MP outside. And that one is good. And you know, a note for this school and MP. He was named a captain for this season. Big news for the sophomore. A little bold, but, but it makes sense. The MP showed as a freshman he can step up and lead. Now here's Blunt. Bautista on the wing. Diaz outside Blunt. Pass to Bautista. On the wing, Diaz. From outside, off the mark. And here's MP. 23 points in the game. Shoots. And no good trying to get that one. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Tar Heels out front, they lead by 18. And I gotta ask, what do you think about MP's performance halfway through? Well, I, I like the way he contributed on the glass, not content to spectate. Yeah, you know, he got in there and got his hands dirty, helped out his big men. And when you're gang rebounding like that, the team is much more consistent closing out stops. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside, it just doesn't matter. Here's Palmer. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Misses the three. MP outside. And MP slams it in. Here's Lawson. Pass to Bayless. Back to Lawson. Palmer. Bayless outside. Diaz, he's covered by Thompson. Six to shoot. Palmer for three. Yes! And it's Diaz picking up the assist. Hey, you know, the Gators run their offense through Palmer because he's a good decision maker. They count on him to make good decisions and good plays and to keep the ball moving for their team. Here's MP. And North Carolina again with the bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Pass to Diaz. Now Palmer. Fader on the way. And it's off the back rim. No good. It's MP on the wing, defended by Bayless. Here's MP, and the layup's good off the glass. Basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. Now Lawson. Outside Palmer. Pass to Diaz, over Thompson. The shot by Diaz, no good. And so here's North Carolina. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. And plenty of contact on that shot, so two free throws coming up. He hits both from the strike. And here are the Gators now. Now here's Mercer. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. It's MP on the wing. Oh! Here's Mercer. Pass to Snow. 
Back to Mercer. And here is Palmer. Just five to shoot. Over MP. Palmer can't hit. Here we go, one on one. With the step back, they get it again. Now here's MP, defended by Palmer. MP, and he gets it to go. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's Mercer. And the ball out of play. The Tar Heels will have it. It's been all Tar Heels. Here's MP. And MP slams it in. Now the Gators with it. Blunt with it. Pass to Snow. The shot to stop the drought. Riley with the rebound. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. They're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Bayless outside. Pass to Blunt. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mercer. Fisher outside. Over to the left wing. Here's Blunt and MP with the block. And they couldn't get the shot off in time. That's a 30 second shot clock violation. On the floor for your Gators. Substitution for North Carolina. They double team MP. May. Here's MP. And Peterson pulls it down. When you do moves like that and you miss, you know you're going to hear it from your coaches and your teammates. Shoots over Riley. Peterson's shot is off. And here's MP. Peterson. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for North Carolina. Number 90. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Lawson. Pass to Bautista. Back to Lawson. To end the run. Tar Heels with the rebound. MP outside. They double team MP. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. How about the inter So it's North Carolina picking up the win. I thought they really asserted their dominance. They look pretty much unstoppable the entire game. And that's a wrap for our broadcast of tonight's game. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and myself, Forrest Hunt, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, you know, I tell you, that was the last time I tried to be someone else. I mean, eventually I figured out that leadership is trying to be the best version of yourself on and off the court for the team. Setting a tone for everyone mm -hmm. around you in the process. Exactly. I mean, we rode that hot start to a victory that first game, and that gave us a ton of momentum. I mean, no one expected us to win once Junior went down. But we made the tournament still. And how did it go? Oh, 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 that is another story. Okay, well, you'll have to tell me next time we get together. You know, I'd be happy to. Thank you. <laughs>